Hey there folks, Grant Schubert down here at Donnelly Ford Lincoln back at it again with another video. And today we're having a look at the all new 2020 Ford Escape. Enjoy. That's right folks, today we're having a look at the completely redesigned 2020 Ford Escape. Now this vehicle has changed completely inside and out. One thing that stayed the same is the trim levels. So you still have the S and the SE, which comes standard with the 1.5 liter three cylinder engine. That's a little bit different for 2020. It's gonna be a little bit more fuel efficient and you're gonna get 181 horsepower out of that. Now, if you step up to the SEL, you have the 1.5 that comes standard, but you have the optional two liter. And again, you have the optional all wheel drive on that as well. Now, one thing that's also very different for 2020 is the titanium actually comes standard as a hybrid. That is going to be very fuel efficient vehicle. Uh, you're gonna get 198 horsepower out of a 2.5 liter Atkinson cycle I4 engine. And that is going to get an estimated 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined city and, and, and highway. So that is absolutely amazing. If you're looking for something that has some really good fuel efficiency in the city or on the highway, definitely go for the hybrid. Now, if you want a little bit more power and a little bit more bells and whistles, that's when you step up and you get the titanium um, non-hybrid, which comes standard with the two liter four cylinder engine that's gonna be putting out 250 horsepower. Absolute rocket, but again, gonna be still very fuel efficient. Now, let's get back into a couple of the changes. As I mentioned, the exterior is completely different from years past. We have these headlights, which are a little bit more drawn out down the side of the body. The fog lights, uh, which come on the titanium, you can see the cutout is completely different from years past as well. They've also slid the grill down a little bit on the front here, which again was gonna allow them to put the Ford emblem right in the body, which gives that front end a completely different look from years past and very, very sharp. If we come around the side here, you'll see they have that kind of faux fender flare, which gives this body a really kind of mean and rugged look while still giving it a nice SUV feel. Um, again, the completely different silhouette on the side here. Uh, the, the roof line has completely changed. The windows have all changed. It's a completely different vehicle. This guy here, you have the 17 inch rims, which again are standard on the SE. Um, and then again, as we come around the back a little bit more here, you'll see the back end is completely changed as well. We've got this extra fin here, which again, just gives it a complete, a nice look. Um, again, gives it that rugged, robust look. Uh, and then the, as I said, the tail lights have changed as well. So you'll see it's more of a rectangular look as opposed to last year where you had that kind of bubble underneath. Um, again, obviously being the SUV, you've got a lot of space in the back here, a lot of room, and it is a lot wider um, in the back here. Another thing they've changed for the uh, 2020 is they've actually made it two inches longer, which makes for a very, very cool uh, segment in the back seat here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop over to the other side and I'll show you that this back room, back seat here now is bigger than a Suburban. The second row leg room is bigger than a Chevy Suburban. It's absolutely massive. You'll see these guys you can take and slide them forward if you wanna have a little bit more cargo space or if you've got someone sitting tall behind you like me, I'm six foot three, you'll see this seat is pushed almost all the way back and I still have a ton of headroom, a ton of leg room absolutely beautiful if you have some bigger kids uh, if you have your kids have the friends uh, if you've got a couple of taller buddies this vehicle is gonna be really nice for road trips or even just uh, putting around the city um, as we come into the front seats I'm actually gonna take us over to the titanium so let's go check out the titanium here all right, now we're over at the Titanium, which is very well loaded. As you can see, I open up the passenger seat here. You have the leather seats, the full power seats, so you'll be able to adjust and get exactly where you want. The other nice thing about these guys with the leather is they are heated in the front. So again, those heated seats are gonna be very convenient for our cold Canadian winters. Um, you also have the heated steering wheel with this vehicle. So the heated steering wheel is real nice. You don't have to wear gloves. And again, makes the using the touch screen a little bit easier. Another thing about the climate, the heated seats and the heated steering wheel is it's all hard buttons. As you see the passenger side, driver's side heated seats, 
the heated steering wheel. It's all hard buttons directing where the air goes, the fan speed itself. Really, really nice where you don't have to go searching through the touch screen, fumbling through different screens to try and find what you want to do. This is the eight inch SYNC 3 touchscreen. Um, and it's very crisp, very clear for 2020. The backup camera is amazing. I'll show you that in just a little bit. Speaking of that backup camera, let's check it out right now. As I mentioned, it is very crisp and clear, definitely upgraded since 2019. You'll see as I turn the wheel, it shows you where you're going. We have the backup sensors, as I mentioned, but we also have the front sensors. So again, if you're getting too close to something, it's gonna start beeping at you just like so. So again, really, really nice for if you're parking in a tighter parking garage, if you're um, moving the vehicle around anywhere, you'll see it's very easy to do with that backup camera. As we go ahead and start it up here, you'll see we have these four buttons down here. Um, the four buttons, the auto shut off. So the vehicle, if you get to a red light, it will shut right down to save fuel. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. We also have the backup sensors alarm here. So if you've got a trailer on the back, the backup sensors are gonna be going crazy. You can shut those guys right down and you don't have to fiddle through all the screens. We also have the drive modes. So I can switch the different drive modes on this vehicle from normal to eco to sport slippery, deep snow and sand, normal. So again, you can really tailor the driving to exactly how you want to be. If you want to be a little bit more fuel efficient, you can do that. If you want to have some fun, put it in sport mode. We also have the parallel park. So again, just like previous years, this vehicle will parallel park for you. So that way, if you're on a really busy road, you can push this button and the vehicle will parallel park all by itself. Very, very convenient. We also have the auto hold button down here. Auto hold is really nice if you're in traffic or if you're at that long red light, you just turn this system on and when you get to a red light, it'll actually hold the brakes for you to the point where you can release your foot from the brake and just relax. Really, really nice feature. And then you have your uh, uh, electronic parking brake. We've got the dial shifter down here, which I find is very convenient. If by any chance you left one of your doors open and without putting it in park, the vehicle's actually gonna put itself into park. So it's a little bit dummy proof in that way. Um, the other really nice feature with this new 2020 Escape has got to be this heads up display. It is very crisp and clear. It shows you your speed, your lane keeping. There's a whole bunch of features that it shows in there. And again, for an Escape to have heads up display, absolutely amazing. This vehicle does come with the B&O play system when you get the titanium. And the Bang & Olufsen play system is absolutely amazing. I'll just show you a quick little um, snip, snippet here of some music. The that way we don't get way. copyrighted or anything like that. But you'll see again, very nice. You can get it very loud. And even when it's very loud, it's still gonna be nice and crisp and clear um, and make sure that it's not working on too much bass or anything like that, give you that nice happy medium. So I think that's pretty much it for the interior. Again, this 2020 Escape has been completely redesigned. We do have all of those nice Ford features like lane keeping assist, lane centering assist, adaptive cruise control, all of that stuff comes in the titanium. Um, again, intelligent access. You even have intelligent access with push button start on the SE. So if you've been thinking about an escape, you have to come down and check out these 2020 escapes. They will blow your mind with the drive, the look, and all the features inside. Grant Schubert down here at Donnelly Ford Lincoln. Send me an email and we'll set you up with any information you're looking for. I look forward to hearing back from you. Bye for now.